In this paper, we introduce a new method of transferring information between particles and grid used in hybrid Lagrangian Eulerian methods called polynomial particle and cell method, also known as polypic. Our method is a generalization of the particle and cell method and the affine particle and cell method. We show that it improves energy and vorticity conservation. Here we simulate the ink droplet using polypic compared with FLIP 0.99 and APIC. Even though the simulation is not in high resolution, it keeps much better vorticial behaviors without suffering from numerical viscosity. To see the advantage in preserving vorticities, first we compare three self-spinning circles with FLIP 0.9, 0.95, and 0.99 respectively. Now we compare FLIP 0.99 with APIC and POLYPIC. POLYPIC has the best resolved vorticial flow among all methods. In this example, we show a simulation of a rainbow of sand falling on the jello. POLYPIC allows us to use different numbers of modes to get different dynamics. See how tin falls down much faster and bounces off the jello more energetically using polypic with more modes. This is the general format of hybrid Lagrangian Eulerian flowchart. In this paper, we design a new process for transferring quantities between particles and grid. In previous work, it has been shown that PIC and APIC can both be described in terms of a single reduced basis model. PIC only uses constant modes. And for APIC, both constant modes and linear modes are used. Our new polypic approach is a generalization of the PIC and APIC approaches achieved by extending the basis modes to more general functions. This richer basis allows for improved energy and vorticity conservation in the transfers. Polypic approximates the velocity grid field local to a particle as polynomial. We demonstrate the method with multilinear and multiquadratic polynomial basis. The approximation is achieved by finding the minimizer of a mass-weighted L2 distance between the local polynomial approximation and the grid node velocities. This projection is achieved with the solution of a linear system of polynomial mode coefficients for each particle. Unfortunately, a simple choice of monomial basis for the approximations requires the inversion of a dense matrix, as is shown in the table on the left. This type of matrix can be easily diagonalized by modifying the multiquadratic modes with a modified Gram-Schmidt orthogonalization. Fortunately, the result of the Gram-Schmidt orthogonalization can be precomputed where only the quadratic terms are modified with the addition of linear and constant terms. This is highlighted in the right table, where G1 of X and G2 of X stand for modified quadratic modes. To show the details of conserving energy using polypig with different numbers of basis modes, we simulate an elastic box in 2D under initial compression. The energy damping is worse when the number of modes is reduced. The amount of energy of each box is also plotted with corresponding colors. This is a similar example of jellos in 3D with different numbers of modes. In this example, we are simulating a spinning cylinder of colored dust using polypic. Notice the vorticial flows.